We are not able to do much activities, but we I am going to a beer garden this weekend and I'm very excited about it. It's apparently a thing you have you can do and it's like the best part of summer. Um, to going to a I wanna say park or garden actually, just like a hangout place for beer, drinking beer, but I feel like do you really need a hangout place for drinking beer? But anyway, beer garden is a thing, so I'm going there this weekend. So we're going to a beer garden. We are. Susie's first beer garden experience. I literally didn't know what it, what to expect. Cash only, that's what to expect. <laughs> I feel like, isn't it like the same as just bringing your own beer and like hanging around in a park? What's different in beer garden? That's my question. Nobody here yet. It's kind of nice actually. We got the good seats. Uh, look at this, it got totally filled up, look. And it's like, it's only been an hour. It got full though. I love the beer gardens. Beer gardens are aren't special. It's not a special magical thing. It's just a concept of easiness. I think I've become one of the people. The, the fussiness of restaurant reservations and the, the like loudness of a bar. I just like, I'm just sometimes like, like fed up with it. And beer garden is very simple. It's beer with a bunch of like benches outdoors and that's it. It's the, the purpose of it's just gathering and having a good chat with people. Thank you. This is so lovely. It's just like sunsetty time and everybody just hangs out. One thing also I like is actually um, beer. Like you can buy it from the pizzeria. You can also buy it in the beer garden here. And also you can buy it in the, across the like, coffee shop and you can just drink. The one thing I love about beer gardens is that everybody can pay for that separately should you be in a large group. Really nice. No, I think it's very nice. It's very chill. It's because a lot of like households here. So I think it's kind of a communal like I like the spirit of communal. Yeah. It's definitely working together. Spot. Yeah, working together. Yeah. It's such an easy way to socialize and it's like kind of what I was looking forward to. Mm. I think we should come here more. I agree. We're doing an indoor picnic. It's better than just having an outside picnic. Because <laughs> we yeah. have a TV. We have a TV where we can watch things. We got some wine, and then we got various things to put on top of toast. My favorite kind of picnic. The days are definitely longer now than they were before. The sun is shining and now is the time when normally all the really cool stuff about living in Berlin is gonna start happening. So all winter long, people kept telling me like, just wait for spring, just wait for spring. It's so great here when the weather gets good. And then now that it's spring, it's very disappointing that we can't do any of the cool stuff that people have been telling me about all winter because all the cool stuff has been canceled because of the coronavirus. So lakes are a thing in Berlin. There's several, I don't know, there's several, a lot of lakes around the city or inside the city, I don't know. So we're going to one of those, one of the famous ones because we've never been. Why not? This is actually a lake and it's one of the clearer, clearest lakes in Berlin. Mm. One of the clearest lakes in Berlin. Our spot, which is just here, we're gonna dip our feet and it's sunny. So yeah, it's, it's the perfect place. I think. Perfect. Look at these people kayaking. People. It's not really hot, hot. No. 
so it's basically like cold. It's cold. <laughs> it's really clear water. It's like, look at it, it's crystal clear. Really still, very refreshing. Yep. The lakes here are a little bit underwhelming. There aren't a lot of beaches in Berlin, but they do lakes. Lakes is what they do in the summer. And basically there's a bunch of these lakes that you go to, they're public transit accessible, and like you put down a little blanket and you hang out by the lake. I was not really sold on it on the first when I heard about this lake living chillin'. It was alright, but it does seem like like a lot of trouble to go to to just like hang out by a lake. So I first thought it was like, okay, what are you gonna do with just like a water like beside you and just chill? There's nothing to do. I mean, and it's not like there's like a big lake shore. It's like basically a hiking trail that goes around the lake, and then like there's like a field at a couple places, but for the most part, it's just like you put your little towel or your picnic blanket down, like, and then there's a lake, and there's no like shore. There's no like sloping in. It's like now we're in a lake, which I guess is how lakes are, but. We came back to the lake. <laughs> to the one that has like a sandy beach. Mm. And we made it at 9 a.m. it opened. Mm. Wow, there's no one flowing. I'm there's like, oh, literally no one here. People here but like, no so one. great, we got our pick. There's nobody here, we get our pick of all the chairs we want. So they have these cute little chairs from the shade. And here we are, nothing but us and beach. Paid off. Good Good job. Job. When we went to Vansi, I sort of came to see and understand the purpose of the lakes because when you can find a patch of sun or when it is a really hot day, it is super refreshing to be able to like jump into a cold lake and just hang out. And it's definitely cooler at the lakes temperature wise than it is in other areas. Like when you go back to city, it's definitely not nearly as cool because there aren't as many trees and I guess the water maybe has some effect. I'm not sure about the science behind it, but it's definitely, definitely cooler at the lakes. It's very, you know, it's very like shallow. Yeah. Like look, that kid's all the way out there and he's like standing up. <laughs> That's nice though. But it's pleasantly okay to swim. Because it's not an ocean or a sea, there's no waves. Mm. And I was like, I'm, I'm missing something. I miss like the beachy salty hair, you know? <laughs> yeah. I actually wanted to taste the water, so I didn't. It's not salty. No, <laughs> fresh water. Lake. I like it, I'm having fun. Yeah. And it's a, the thing that's amazing is that all these are like accessible by public transit, which is like mind boggling to me. The best part I think is, it's very close. It's very close from the city center. And it's like accessible by public transport, which is, I think that's why I get it. Like, that's why I feel it's such a great um, thing to do. And every weekend, everybody's talking about which lake they went to and which um, which one is their favorite. And there's a lot, there's a lot of water. Like, you know. We're out of the sun. <clears throat> I mean, out of the lake. And we're going to uh, another free, 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 free market. Flow market. Cool. You I like know. these? Yeah. Bird it sells records and antiques. I really like to go to flea markets because that's the one thing that's open on Sundays. And I feel like I don't know why, but I think the things, the perks, or the things I was looking forward to living in Germany is like the antique and flow, like the flea markets of Europe. Since it's not, it, we cannot go to other like cities or countries that have maybe a different flea markets, I am like kind of trying to go to uh, like the most of it. Where are we headed today? We're in Neukölln Flow Market. 
There's a lot of old books, second-hand books, and some antiques. I think it's gonna be like a lot of teapots and plates. Teapots. Du fondue party. I heard this is a Berlin thing, but I know it's everywhere, everywhere thing. How was? Okay. The markets are all the same, no? Maybe I just haven't found the right one. I do feel like that all, about almost everything in Berlin, but like, I have, maybe I haven't found the right one, the right version of it. So the one at Tiergarten I didn't like at the time, but like now that I've seen some other ones, the one at Tiergarten's pretty good. Susie and I tried to go to a flea market on Sunday that was inside the Mauer Park, and it was absolute madness. Appears to be the entrance, and this appears to be the line to enter the flea market. How bad did you want to go? <laughs> people were grilling, people were busking, people were hanging out in groups. There was a drum circle, and more surprisingly, we might have been the only people wearing masks. I had no idea it was going to be like this. No, there's a lot of people here too. You will notice we are literally the only two people wearing masks. I wasn't expecting to be that busy like during corona times and nobody's wearing masks, nobody's actually doing social distance, like it's amazing how it's very different in different parts of the world. So um, I was crazy, it was crazy, like I, like I had to like queue in line for going inside a flea market, I'm like hello, is this like an amusement park? No. We're headed to another one, mm, near the lake. So we're waiting for the bus and we're going to one of the ones that's closest to the city center. So it could be more crowded, it could be smaller, it could be not as good. We won't know until we get there. Let's see. It's actually swimmable, it's like deep, deep pond, and also has a lake, and also has a beach. Mm. Speaking of, it's like 7 p.m. and like it is still sunny at 7 p.m. It's easy to forget what time of day it is because it stays, it gets light so early and it stays light so late during the summertime. When people told me to wait for Berlin summer, I get what they mean. It's, the day is really long. It's like the sun is like up until like 9 p.m. And until like till the 8 p.m. It's still, you feel like you're like 4 p.m. to 5 p.m. So you still like you can do something. It's definitely kind of fun actually. Cause you could be having like a picnic outside it starts at 5 p.m. and you still have several hours of like daylight and enjoyment ahead of you and people have been ra like really raving about it and I should like so it's something about the Berlin summer and I'm like I get it we travel an hour to get here is another lake day Woo! let's go love lake days yeah it's my new so favorite pastime we <laughs> yeah true it's our favorite pastime we see the point of the lake now we were not sold on it, but no. like I took some major convincing. But then now, end of July, fully on board. It wasn't that hot in July, mm. like the beginning in June, so it was like a little bit cold to actually mm. like swim. So, but today is hot, hot. It's gonna be like uh, like 30 degrees Celsius, which is appropriate summer. When is summer coming? I felt like every time it's like chilly, but it's now finally. This is a new lake, we've not been to this one yet. And it's near the other two that we like. So we're hoping it's gonna be good, but we'll see. Berlin is very green. Now, the one thing I don't like, because it's a lake, it's surrounded by trees, it's shady. Mm. You have to find a spot that's like sunny sunny. I think it's all around like here, you can like see Not like fancy where it's like so shallow I have to like 
I don't know how many kilometers are. There's no sun. It's like compared to Stockton Sea, it's like a little bit more of a lake. And it has some patches of land that you can actually lie down, which is good. Which is good. I like Kumalanka because the water itself is deep, so you can actually swim. And also it's kind of like has a shallow area and it goes deep and it's very cool, it's very clean, but also has kind of an area not like Shak to Sea, where it's basically it's like an edge of uh, literally like edge of a cliff, not a cliff, edge of like kind of a ground area and then boop there's water. It's kind of all, like kind of like a beach boy, but it's not a sand, it's like kind of like slows down. And there's a lot of sun. As long as there's like a patch where we can sun, then I'm cool with almost all the lakes we've been to. This one's really nice though. Another thing I like is just like the chillness of it, the do nothingness of it. <laughs> Because so much of, um, yeah, I guess so much of my life is like I have to do this or I'm spending hours doing this or that. I have a very long to-do list. I feel like I'm constantly behind on everything that I want to get done. But when you're at the lake, it's like, well, there's, you can't really do anything anyway. So you basically just like sit there and chill. And it's a very relaxing experience. Packing up now. How was your lake day? Awesome. So when you move to a new country and you have to learn an entirely different way of doing stuff, I don't know if I have to actually get... You sometimes run into this problem. So many papers. And you don't know if it's bad because you're doing it wrong. Uh, where do I put it? Or if you've gone to a bad place. Uh...